I know what you guys want. You guys want fast cracking, big adjustments, and a lot of people in a lot of pain. And this guy's in a lot of pain, but you know, this is a feel good story, guys. This guy is so nice. He loves his family, loves his little baby girl, and uh, all I can tell you is if you want a good story, watch this one. He couldn't even hold his daughter for a few minutes, and now he can hold her all the time. And it's just a lovely story. Check it out, guys. Back and strength. Back and strength. Yeah. So he has such weak grip, he can't even grab anything. And you're going to see his grip strength in a minute. It's really awful. Um, uh, his back pain has been going on for years. He's 28 years old. Are you? 10 years low back pain. Yeah, uh, tell us about this in his hands. Both, yes. both grips are weak, right? I wake up like five times. In the middle of the night. I got a little little bit depressed about it and then uh, also I you know just thinking about it more it's just I, I I couldn't even eat I couldn't enjoy it I couldn't enjoy it it just yeah. uh, got me really in a very yeah. sad uh, uh, right there uh, seven in the knees and like a, a six in the back Thanks. just squeeze 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 I'm not even I'm not even squeezing back and you guys know that if you squeeze a hand like this and somebody's not squeezing back you usually cripple the person right and remember if you're going to any other chiropractor do they take x-rays because we do and that's important who we got a lot here 10 millimeter right imbalance 17 millimeter right lower shoulder here we have 22 millimeter right short leg 22 millimeter pelvic rotation and 17 degree scoliosis here we have massive neck kyphosis one-third atlas wear and a gigantic EOP here and we have some mild calcification constipation to round things off notes are very important we're finding out that sitting in the theater on his couch in his car are affecting him a lot and so these are important patterns that we see and so when you guys come, make sure you're taking notes, okay? So anyways, I want to show you how good a job he did there. I noticed that when I was playing catch with my son, uh, I was able to, uh, you know, have a better grip on the ball, uh, throw stronger, and a little further, actually, this time. Gotcha, and but he still feels some tingling in his fingers, but his strength yes. was better, right? Yes. Also, tell them, tell them about carrying your daughter. You have trouble carrying your daughter in your right arm. Tell us about that. I'm able to carry my daughter a little longer now about you know, maybe a few minutes longer now and so the atlas adjustment is very important because you have to get right on here and so most chiropractors miss it because it's hidden right behind this skull bone right here called the mastoid process and so it's very easy to slide off it you have to really be focused on holding it and then you also have to make sure you go through the line of drive here <laughs> i just felt it like all the way, like all this side, like just a lot of tension just released. And how is that different than the other adjustments all last week? Mm, it just felt to more of my skull now. Good, right off the mastoid here again. Come this way. Taught him posture yesterday, and so he's working on his progressions again. And uh, I'm going to turn it over to him. How did you do between yesterday and today? He has some issues, uh, things are better and worse. So just tell us the truth. What's going on, sir? Oh, actually, um, my posture is a little better. I, I believe I feel a little more loose from my shoulders. Um, just a little bit more um, tension on my arms. But um, also, I noticed that when I go to the bathroom, when I urinate... Um, oh, that's right. I forgot color, about that. Yeah, the color is yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. more normal. It's not dark urine or anything. So Yeah, so I'd love to know in the comment section, do you guys have uh, some kind of, like, chronic dark urine kind of thing i was going on for about a year i just feel like when i'm driving <clears throat> when i was driving back home even coming over here uh when i gotta turn left i feel just a little we'll tightness right here and that's where we adjusted his atlas yesterday so we're going to adjust him here so again you can be more flexible when he actually works on his posture go ahead and drop your head to the right here Drop the right shoulder a little bit. Good. There you go. Let it go, Angel. Good. How was that compared to yesterday's adjustment? Wow. Something um, different again, right? It wasn't that intense, but it um, actually got some of the tension off. Good. Perfect. Okay. Come here. You may ask why I'm slapping him. No reason. <laughs> it's called distraction. And so his big thing right now, we're working on his tail. So uh, go ahead and step back a tiny bit for me. Step back, please. No, you sit right here. 
Okay, so uh, our, his tell is now this. So go ahead and lift your arms, please. So his tell is how much pain is your shoulders right now? Three. Three. So go ahead and put them down. Yesterday it was a six, and so he was complaining about this, and I didn't realize this was his tell. So I call, I call these tells, meaning people who come in, they have certain pain um, systems, and so everybody has a different one. And so if we can find the tell, I can now I can understand what I do to affect that tell. And so we went from a six to a three in one day. Yes. Okay, but I also told him I want him to control this. It may, we need to move it down even more than that. So that's the missing mm -hmm. sauce. So we're going to work on this today. I just want to show you what the tell was. So what I'm trying to do is I'm actually stretching him, stretching him like this because I want to get him in the right position. When I adjust him, he's in the right position so I don't have to take a lot of slack out. So I'm just kind of getting him in the position so I can get it the best, deepest adjustment I can on the lower part of his neck. We're working on C7 right here. I'm going to get in here and just really set it deep. Excellent. <laughs> you okay, dude? Yeah. Good. So again, that pre-stretch kind of gets me so I can get his head to lay over. And that's not for my patience, by the way, guys. Excellent. Woo! That was really good, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was excellent. Uh, woke me up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Go and stand up. Uh, walk back a little bit. Stand up. I'm just kind of curious right now. We haven't done anything. We haven't moved yet, but I'm just kind of curious. Oh, lift your arms. That was a three a minute ago. What is it now? I went down. To what? I would say uh, between one and two. <laughs> He's still having some pain up in his atlas on the right. So we're kind of working to reduce that. Stand again. So tells are important, guys. When you chiropractors out there, when you have a tell, use it because that tell knows if we're on the right track or not. Go and lift your arms again. Still one and a half? No, I just. Mm -mm. Like, I can't hear you. I would say about one. <laughs> <laughs> it went down a lot. The difference between one week and uh, versus the two week is that. I learn a lot, like it's a process that we have to take. And so we can't just jump into, you know, uh, skip a bunch of steps and then just go, okay, this is how you're gonna do it. No, we have to Sounds take brilliant. everything baby steps. So oh, we're, we're doing everything baby steps. Did he learn that from me? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's pretty good, man. I, I'm just impressed. I'm like, I'm so happy to hear you say this because that's exactly right. I just, yeah. I just need that. Not only of the words that come out of my mouth, you feel it and you express it, and after yes. two weeks you understand it. I love that. I just, I'm, I'm I, shocked. I also learned a little bit of kung fu. Every time he goes like this, I got. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Kung fu. <laughs> <laughs> but it is steps. And so, how do you feel different after one week versus two weeks? Uh, feeling wise, just the I, results wise. I sleep a lot better. I learn to control, um, not let the, um, a lot of my symptoms take control of me and then go back the way everything was, like my old habits. So it's just, I'm picking up new habits and it's helping me. Proud of this guy. It's helping me a lot. Proud of you. Thank you. If I would have never came here and I would have prolonged it, I would have never learned this. You know, I would have never uh, got a lot of like, a lot of things that, <laughs> that I couldn't do before, I'm able to do it and better, you know, and, and able to, uh, <laughs> able to just uh, uh, do things more, you know, enjoy life a little bit yeah. more. So I was holding her hand and uh, she felt my strength. And, you know, I wasn't even squeezing. They call it grocery shopping. <laughs> That's a low click. Nah. It's grocery shopping. It's grocery shopping. Nah, she felt my strength. You know, it felt good. It felt good because I wasn't hold. I wasn't holding her hand tight. I was just holding her hand, and she says I was squeezing her hand. You know, I you know I shook his hand, and when I shook his hand, he's like, "Hey, you got a better grip now. You've been working out." And I said, "No, I haven't been working out. He doesn't let me work out." Yeah. <laughs> he just says walk. <laughs> and so essentially what's happening is that I turned his neurology on, turned the, the switch on in his neck and made his hand work better. I know it's hard to believe, but I like to document this stuff because you know people out there that have the same symptoms. Right. Again, this is this is what we do here. And so he's not even trying. He's crushing his wife's hand and crushing his crushing his wimpy brother's hand. <laughs> you gotta see that. And I don't know how uh, big you are, you're gonna be big anyway. So anyway, you're probably I sure probably cool. A lot better, like probably I would say 85, 90. That's what he came in for. Uh, neck, uh, low back pain. 
no, 10 years and no back pain. Yeah, I have no back pain, you know. Um, you know? Nothing. Carpal tunnel. No, uh, top numbness thing in your hands? No, no more. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, knee pain, ankle, right ankle pain? Um, it went down. It's still there, but it's uh, like How much a, better? Uh, I would say 80. Good. Constipation. Poops a lot. Oh, no more. No more. Um, it, like I said, my urine. So <laughs> soft squeeze or is it uh, lumpy dumpy? <laughs> Normal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, and urine. The urine is better color now. It comes yes. out, doesn't smell, doesn't smell. Yeah. And um, yeah, <laughs> holding hands. I'm I just, sorry. <laughs> I, just feel, I just feel a little more like healthier. You know? Heartburn, three or four times a week. No more. Okay. Uh, sleep. I sleep. I sleep tons of hours now, and I only wake up once now. Yeah, and you wake up refreshed? Yes. And then you walk with your wife in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> Holding hands? Yeah, we're bonding. <laughs> oh, yeah. We taught him how to sleep. We taught him how to sleep earlier, and he goes like this. I go, show me how you sleep. Took pictures of us. He's like, well, I do this, and I go, and I put my leg on my wife like this, and I go, so. <laughs> I that's, 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 that's for us to know. <laughs> exactly. Anyways, it was, uh, it was cute. He did it in front of all of us, by the way, so we all got to witness that. He goes like this. He goes, you know, it's cold in the morning. I do this. <laughs> Hi, honey. So I love this picture. Uh, he has had the hardest time with his daughter, the hardest time. And he loves this little chick so much because, you know, little daddy's girl, ooh, little pumpkin. And he couldn't hold her at all for more than a couple seconds mm -hmm. before because um, he, his arm would get tired and he would have to put her down, right? Mm. Yes. And so this week, what has happened? Well, now she wants me to hold her long, like all the time. She, she always wants me to hold her because I'm able to hold it longer, so when her mom gets tired of holding her, now she goes and looks for me. Yeah, and he can do it. So, so yes. uh, again, and part of it we taught him how to hold, because at first he was doing what? I was holding her like this. And then we taught him how to do what? Put my arms down and still hold her like exactly. this. Exactly, so he can hold way longer. So anyways. Soon he just faked it like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so good that you cut these people off for two weeks because they they start to think they're getting funny, and they're not. <laughs> okay. Oh, we love our patients, man. Angels really come out of a shell, man. Free coffee. <laughs> Excellent, it's good. Sir, right there. Now, uh, the thing he used to have to tell, we talked about in the last video. Arms up, sir. What's the smile for? Well, I'm smiling because I can raise up my arms with no pain. Yeah. I really appreciate you, you know, um, you make me want to have a little baby girl again because he's so in love with his daughter, so I love yes. that. So, um, hi, little girl. What's your girl's daughter's name? Luna. Luna. Luna, oh my God, cool. Hi, Luna. 